Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's June 21st, 2023. Here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's the first day of summer, which means we've got the most sunlight we're going to have all year in today. Uh, it is going to be a beautiful 27, 28 degrees here. So we're back to shorts weather. We're back to uh, Hawaiian type shirts or uh, summer shirts. So I'm very happy to have that. Uh, if you happen to live in the Southern Hemisphere uh, and you're starting winter, hope it's not a bad one for you. All right, here today is a new issue postage stamps at Canada Post. They put out three new stamps today, all Indigenous leaders and their stories. So I thought I'd show you the stamps that came out. And uh, we're going to start here with George Manuel, who was born in 1921 and passed away in 1989. So there's that. There's the story on the back, which I'll read to you. And you can have a look at the stamps. So a member of the Neskohanleth Indian Band, of the Sequipec Nation of British Columbia, hopefully I've said that correctly, George Manuel, Order of Canada, was an activist, author, astute political strategist, whom many credit with the inspiring the modern Indigenous movement in Canada, a strong believer in the power of uniting to achieve goals. Manuel organized the Constitution Express, a movement that brought lobbyists to Ottawa and New York by train in 1980 and to Europe in 1981, and ultimately influenced the inclusion of Indigenous and treaty rights in the Constitution Act of 1982. So there you are, George Manuel. That's one stamp that came out today. The next is Thelma Shalafu. So you can see, oh, there's the cover and the back and her six stamps. The first Indigenous woman appointed to the Senate, Métis activist Thelma Shalafu, was born in 1929 and passed away in 2017, was a powerful force for social justice. Born in Calgary, Alberta, she channeled her boundless energy and kindness into improving the welfare of her people, serving on many provincial bodies involving in housing, education, and social assistance. After she retired from the Senate at the age of 75, Shalafu worked as an elder in residence and helped found the Center of Women's Wellness and Métis Culture in St. Albert, Alberta. So there we go. And the final one is Nellie Cornoyer. There's her stamps. And there's the story on the back. Nellie Cornoyer, also Order of Canada, was born in 1940 in Aklavik, Northwest Territories, has been a steadfast in her efforts to empower Inuit, in particular the Inuvilet in, of uh, Canada's Western Arctic, Elected to the Legislature of the Northwest Territories in 1979, she held many ministerial portfolios before her selection as Premier in 1991, which she held until 1995, which made her the first Indigenous woman to head a provincial or territorial government in Canada. She played a significant role in the negotiations that resulted in both the uh, Inuvilet Final Agreement and the creation of the Territory of none of it. And there you have it are three Indigenous leader stamps that came out today. Uh, so I'll be happy to put those on my postcards coming out this weekend, and uh, maybe they'll end up in your mailbox. So that is what we have for today. It's just a short little video. I wanted to uh, focus on these new stamps that came out. There is another new stamp uh, supposedly coming out by the end of the month. So that's only next week. So I may have another video for you there. I also wanted to say for... Uh, I mentioned a couple videos ago about uh, John Wilson passing of John Collect Stamps. There's been some lovely tributes to go out there. So if you're interested, go check out Snail Mail with Smokey. He put out a tribute to John. And also uh, Ted Talk Stamps put out a nice tribute to him as well. Um, so uh, his passing has uh, made a mark on the, the uh, YouTube community and the philately community. So uh, yeah, I didn't have a... I thought about putting something out, but... I'm happy with what other people have put out right now, and I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, uh, he will be missed, and uh, it's very evident in the comments that you see on people's videos and in the videos that have been coming out for uh, about John, too. So if you get a chance, uh, go check out those, and uh, go check out some of the other creators that are out there, too. Uh, I thank you for stopping in and uh, seeing my channel. Uh, if it's your first time here and you like it, uh, feel free to subscribe. Share it with other people that you know. And uh, leave me a comment. I like uh, chit-chatting with uh, those members of uh, the community that uh, are watching my videos. Some people give me uh, advice, or maybe say unwarranted or not. Uh, 
words of encouragement are always nice too but uh sometimes you see something in my videos and you'd like to see a little bit more of it uh, i like to have that feedback so i know what to focus on so uh, yesterday i focused on a lego video i got to do with my son uh, today we're doing a stamp release tomorrow i don't know maybe there'll be a video maybe there won't maybe tomorrow's a day of rest before getting into the weekend activities this weekend coming up here in town just to give you a preview um, is rib fest in moncton again so i will be going down to the rotary rib fest probably on friday with my family so i will try to do a video and show you what's going on there just like i did last week when we had uh, snowbirds were supposed to take flight here rather they didn't because of the weather uh, but we did get in the highland games last weekend so that was nice to be able to see that so we're getting into festival season and things are going on so i'm going to keep you included for now have a magical week what follow you say like subscribe share and tell all your friends who's a good boy who's a good boy bye